Hi everyone, I hope you all. This is Coins Kid. Just going to dive into XLP once again. Thank you for support. Okay, big up the Coins Kid crew. So, what's the negative here for XLP is the fact that we've closed below this 20. We was looking to get back above this 20. Okay, this really important level just there of support. You know, what, like I said to you, on any time frame, you're holding that 20, you're in an uptrend. But once you start to come between, you're into a level of consolidation like that, you know, and then you potentially break out and hold them back to the support. But right now, it seems to be that XLP is between the 20 and between the 55. So, as you can see, if, if XLP XRP continues to sort of coil up like this over the next few months, potential breakouts, fall backs, consolidate, you're between the EMAs, eventually this red line, the 55 EMA, will catch up with you and you may come down for a little retest of it down the line, okay, over the next couple of months. It might get a little bit boring, a little bit flat here for XRP over the next few months, you know, dependent on what Bitcoin does. It's all about Bitcoin, okay? So I know that everyone's expecting some kind of, you know, dead cap bounce scenario here for Bitcoin where it starts to retrace and alts are just going to continue and explode, okay? Potentially, this scenario, you know, not going to ignore the fact that it could do that, but it's not doing it at the minute, you know. XRP is not showing any kind of strength at the moment other than holding these lows, which is really, really important, like I said to you. But one negative thing here, you know, for transparency, you've got that close below that key level support just there. That's quite negative because you're closing, you're essentially Essentially putting in a lower low essentially by closing there than this key level support okay regardless of the wicks we're still holding them which is good you know but we are closing below that because historically like I said to you you know we did we do do something similar here where we close below down here look and then sort of add that wick down okay in that month and then the next month in uh, whenever what that was January in 2021 this is where XRP just absolutely broke out for no reason whatsoever had the SEC over its ass we got that capitulation but it still broke out okay so there is a chance here, a slight chance, even though we've closed under this key level of support, okay, which we didn't want to see, it's negative, can't ignore it, there is a slight chance here that February could be quite explosive, okay. So, you know, I'm going to show you something in a minute that, that I think that the potential potential for the bottom of XRP is actually in, you know, when everyone get really fearful, expecting continuation and some kind of bear market confirmation right here, which we're not putting any bear market conf confirmation because we're not losing them kilos just there that we put in the summer around about 58 cents at 50 cents sorry you know like i said to you when you come towards sort of capitulation and a, a drawback you do usually see that breakout okay when everyone's really really fearful and everyone's selling that's at the point that it does tend to break out i mean look at that drawback upside drawback upside that was explosive okay forced into a corner oh shit we're going to a bear market here we're going to zero you know you actually sweep these lows down there look at that a golden entry point look at that wick there enormous bullish hammer and then you add another little roll and you bloke broke out just there here coiled up in some kind of big big ascending triangle look at that key level resistance key level support coiled up towards the apex and you broke out just there okay so you know it is doing something very very similar that has done in previous cycles where you're sort of rolling down and you capitulating like here we came down oh shit it's going to zero and then the next month you've got that bullish hammer in that lovely couple of months upside just there you know when everyone got really bullish again even myself i thought you know this is it we're going to explode here we're going to we're going to come up and break these highs but no we ran into resistance and we're coming back and we're looking for support and we are holding the key level support at the moment which is this low okay lose that low down you go the precursor right here to being really you know in a bear market is the fact that you are sort of losing this 20 right now but like i've shown you you lost the 20 and the 55 just there in that capitulation and the next month it just got absolutely bought up didn't it because after capitulation you know upside right now you're getting this sort of three month rollover rolling into a huge correction without any sort of retracement so like i've said to you many many times in many many videos the retracement is key for me okay so right now potentially you know you're caught in this big big whopping there's your key level support there's your key level resistance right and you're caught in this range like this and essentially look you've got this big big whopping descending triangle with a key level support and a, a massive level of resistance like i said to you on the weekly time frame you start to close and break that you're up there okay so when people are fearful that's when you usually get the breakout okay you don't usually sort of get the fear and the continuation of the fear it usually gets driven into the floor and then you usually get your breakout okay so we are looking at some kind of breakout for bitcoin at the moment there's no guarantees but if it does break that key level resistance on a daily expect xrp to catch up and with that it's going to start to retrace to the 20 at least to retest it as resistance and at that point you've got these key levels of resistance above like i've shown you on the four hourly time frame now you know you sort of consolidate and you're going sideways here and we, we we have done this before here we went sideways broke that resistance came up to retrace get the continuation of the trend but something here that's giving the game away here you know i'm no elliott wave specialist 
but there's been five waves down here I'm going to show you these waves if we take a look on the weekly time frame just here I can show you them a bit cleaner uh, just here so basically an ABC correction you've got this A you've got this B and right now this is your C wave correction now it's dependent on how low this comes obviously a C wave correction look you've you've got you made your B high just there and right now you've come down in this C leg but you are holding these lows so there is a potential that this is not some kind of big big monster C leg because I can count five waves here let me show you okay so the potential this is the low so I'm trying to say to you and everyone's getting really really fearful at this point for continuation we're getting some nasty closes we're on the cusp of a death cross but at this point when you're forced into the corner this is where you do usually react down here forced into the corner you react do you understand that forced in the corner down here oh shit gonna lose support gonna go to zero and it, and it reacts and people get sort of left standing at the train station selling to fear this is what you buy you buy fear you buy blood you buy depression you buy these drawbacks because look upside 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 we've not got any kind of relief rally yet to these levels of resistance which is what i'm looking for to confirm this is an actual downtrend and we're going to come lower but there is a wave count here and i've shown you this before essentially look this is the top just there and we've got one wave down we've got two waves up we've got a three wave down we've got a four wave up and right now this is your fifth wave down so this could be it this could be your, f your five legs down of a c leg and then you've got a five waves down here as well look let me show you for xrp so you've made the top there you've come down in one you've come up in two come down in a monster three then you come up in four and then you're low balled out in five down there and what you've done you come with an abc okay so let's take a look at this abc so from there you come put an a you come down in a b and then you've made your c high so you've got a wave down b wave high c wave down and we've got five waves within c so the, there is a potential and it is a potential right now that we've low balled out here and this is the low right now and we start to coil up and you're getting this strength for the bottom and right now we're looking at some kind of retracement now if this is the abc and it's done okay and this is a corrective wave done then this was a corrective wave of a bull market and i was correct okay and at this point when we do start to come up and we tackle that level of resistance just there for xrp okay when everyone's really really fearful down here expecting continuation of some kind of bear market okay you've not lost these lows let yet to confirm that okay for me okay so if we do start to come back up here and break these key levels of resistance that i've been showing you multiple times this here is the key level of resistance because that's the resistance of a descending triangle and like i said to you you close above that you're confirming a breakout because you've been running to a resistance consistently and with that you're confirming that huge huge impulsive move to this white line which is four dollars fifty minimal in this bull run with a continuation okay so that's basically xrp a quick little update for you today okay but you can trade all this event you know the shorts the longs everything that i teach you you can do it all on by a bit the link is in each and every video description do take up the the bonus offer i think the We've got a 4,100% 4, bonus sign-up offer right now. And equally, they do cheap trading fees as well. 30% discount on trading fees. So, yeah, take advantage of that. And good luck, everybody. And I really, really do hope, you know, that we've found a low. And that's it. We've low-balled out. And we've got this beautiful five-wave structure down. You know, we've got this big ABC within a descending triangle. And right now, we're looking at the lows. Okay. And we're looking to hold these lows and start to come back up and attack these levels of resistance. You know, if you want to be a reservist, you know, just wait. Just wait in the wings. Okay. You will miss out on a bit of appreciation. But if you're looking for an amazing opportunity, just wait for XRP to come back up and break that hold. And that's your long spot. And then you go long and buy a bit, you know, with whatever leverage you want. But don't over leverage. And always equally set a stop loss so you don't get a throwback and come into the pattern. Because, look, we had little throwbacks just there. And what I'm looking for is the close above this kilo resistance. Once you get that, you know, wow, that's that's going to be golden. An absolute amazing entry point. And everyone, you know, all the trolls on the video saying, where's $4.50? You know, like I said to you, patience is key with XRP. We're still holding these lows, which is really, really important. We've not lost them yet. As soon as we start to lose them, you know, I'm giving you a technical targets to the downside but at the minute i'm still biased to the fact that we're potentially going to quit it's a potential you know everything's probabilities in this uh, game i've told you that it's a, it's a game of support and resistance i've taught you everything i know okay stay healthy stay strong stay tuned take care everyone bye bye